for What's Hot. We talk about the stories that have us all talking. And we are joined by John Ann Willow from Third Coast Digest. Plus, our very own Jeff Wagner is back. Well, today, George Zimmerman is being formally charged with the murder of Trayvon Martin. He was arrested yesterday after a month and a half after the incident. Zimmerman's lawyer could fight for immunity under Florida Stand Your Ground law, but prosecutors are prepared to fight that. So, the question is, should Zimmerman be charged with second-degree murder? Okay, th this case is a mess. You know, several weeks ago, prosecutors didn't feel they had a basis to charge him with anything. Now you have a prosecutor who's decided to not go to a grand jury and charge him with second-degree murder. I I've read the criminal complaint here. I don't know what happened that night. I will tell you, I think it is going to be very, very difficult to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he's guilty of second-degree murder. And what really concerns me is if the prosecution can't make its case and he ends up getting acquitted, I I'm really concerned the way this case has been politicized and racialized that, that this is a powder keg waiting to explode. I absolutely agree that it's a powder keg, and I also agree with you that we haven't seen all the evidence, even if we've read the complaint. Um, should he have been charged with something? The stand your ground law in Florida is says you can use um, you can use necessary force when you feel threatened. He chased him out of his own yard. I mean, he ch he chased him when he wasn't even in his yard, so that was probably unnecessary force. But like Jeff said, so politicized now and such a mess the way it was handled in the first place that I'm really, I'm also just really afraid of what's going to happen. So well, do you think the way everything was handled has completely undermined the entire situation oh, 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 and oh, the absolutely. justice process? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. And it, it, it starts off with the, the President of the United States who decides to interject himself into this. Then this has become racialized with the, you know, Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson. And I, and, and I agree, and I've been saying this all Long. I have lots of trouble with what Zimmerman did. This whole idea that you make the 911 call, the cops say, don't get out of your car, and you get out of your car. Okay, so I've, I've got issues with this. But th there's all sorts of other charges they could have opted to go with instead of second degree murder that, in my opinion, would have been a lot easier to prove. Um, I, I just, I, I hope everybody can retain cool heads on this as we, we move through the process. It's okay. been racialized by both sides, too, sure. not, just, not just the left um, okay. and not just African Americans. It's been racialized by, by every side of the political spectrum, which is the very reason it's so dangerous. And guys, we have to wrap up this part of the discussion now. Thanks. Coming up next, yes. Fifty Shades of Grey, an erotic novel is storming the country the controversy at least one local library. Nerve News Radio 620 WTMJ. A new novel, Fifty Shades of Grey, has become so popular some bookstores are selling out of it. The erotic and controversial novel focuses on a college student's I guess you could say um, kinky relationship with an older wealthy man, the Fond du Lac Public Library. Says. <laughs> it says it won't carry it because they don't collect erotic books. The question should they? The and Shelley's the working on this for tonight. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, I went up to Fond du Lac and uh, spoke to some of the people around the library and t I, I got a chance to take a look at the book and I flipped through it and really it's it's dirty. <laughs> I mean, there's really some parts in there. And I'm no right crude, word. but I'm reading this. I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, went on the, I went on the Fond du Lac I went on the Fond du Lac Library's website and found out that they carry um, both editions released so far of The Joy of Sex. They carry mm -hmm. all of the books by Anne Rice and other books by contemporary American novelists that some would consider a little blue. So I am thinking that the reason they decided not to carry this book is because somebody said they didn't that it shouldn't be carried and, and that They're book offended in particular. Or yeah. no, it was actually no the per, no, it was actually the person who was the buyer of books at the yeah. library. Personally, who, thought it was smutty. Who decided that they didn't want to carry well, this? Although I should I say that I spoke to the library director a few minutes before we came on air, and he said that there's always the possibility that they could reevaluate right. their decision. But, but yeah, they they have every right to have have standards, and just because you you carry the joy of sex doesn't mean you carry Hustler magazine. And I mean, I think, you know, this is one of these situations where they look at this and they say, okay, well, yeah, yeah, we're not saying that this has no artistic value, but, you know, for the public library, this is an S&M book, and that's how they describe it. So, I mean, I think they have a right to say no. They will get it for people through interlibrary loan or otherwise go buy it yourself if you want. There you go. Okay, let's move on to our next topic. A father from suburban Pittsburgh is charged with two counts of child endangerment for leaving his children to play at a park unattended. The children, ages six and nine, were left alone for nearly two hours, a woman noticed them playing without an adult and she called the police. So the question is, should the father be facing any charges for leaving the kids playing by themselves? No, no, the father should not be facing any charges. He, he, they were left alone for less than two hours. Now, if they, 
they were six and nine. When I was nine, I was babysitting. The caveat would be, if this information is available, is did the kids have a safe place to go if they needed, no. if they needed an adult? That's the part that we haven't been told. But should they be allowed to play in the park by themselves in six and nine? Yeah. Possibly so. Yeah, see, I remember doing that as yeah, a kid. Absolutely. Yeah, see, I thought oh. we were going to fight about this one, but no. I, I, the thing I would want to know is, I guess, what, what, what sort of neighbor? I mean, is this some really like high no, crime area that no. you wouldn't leave kids in? Right. But and do, that do they aside, live like two blocks away right, where they yeah. could just go home? I mean, when I was right. nine years old, I mean, m my parents, you know, would let me go. I mean, there was a, a public high school slash park with stuff three or four blocks. I, I would be there all day. I'd right. go out in the morning. I'd come back for lunch. I'd go back there. We'd play ball. We'd do all this type Street of stuff. Streetlights come on. You go right. home, right? Yeah. You know something? Exactly. I, I wouldn't have left them. I would have brought them home with me. Should he be arrested? No. It's a right. different era now. Yeah. I think. But I would bring them home with me. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Thanks, guys.